So I had this thought. Bear with me. Leave science in motion, just, just put them over there. Bear with me. Why do people hold hands? Why? What, what's the point? I, I, I mean, I sort of understand the shaking of hands, sort of, not this kind of, this here, uh, but why? Why? I, I mean, when you're in a relationship, I, I, you throw emotion out the window, why? So, yeah, <laughs> it's just kind of a random video, sort of, it gave me an idea, though to maybe do a series like this because sometimes there are questions that just need to be asked. Sometimes. So, what do you guys think? Why do people hold hands? I want to hear your, your thoughts down in the comments. Um, as far as what I think, I really haven't thought of a reason yet. I'll come up with something eventually, but I've been thinking about this for a couple of months. It's almost like the, the question of why do people kiss, but, you know, I haven't got an answer for that one either. Just sometimes questions like these just need to be put out there. Just sometimes. Anyway, so what's been going on here? As you guys probably noticed, I didn't do anything on Tuesday. Ah, uh, that was half because I was out of the house. It's really busy. You probably can see the the glare on my glasses from my window, which is just there, about five feet away from me. Um, yeah, I didn't do anything on Tuesday because I was really busy. You know, sometimes stuff like that happens. I've recently discovered that I... Well, I wouldn't say discovered, more or less, more found the category that I'm more of an introvert, which kind of explains a lot. <laughs> um, so these videos are going to be a little different from now on. All of my videos, I've been trying to be an extrovert in my videos for too long, and I think it's time I do things my way, not the way that everybody else does. Anyway, back to the question. Why do people hold hands? Maybe it creates some kind of a satisfaction, a bond maybe. Maybe somebody came up with it you know, a long time ago, you know, because I know that shaking hands is supposed to be supposed to be some sort of a, like a friendship, you know, sign of a friendship, some kind, but is it really? Is it really? That's the question. Honestly, I feel like I should be doing sign language here. Um, honestly, who knows, you know? I have to go back in time and see what started it all. Maybe that, uh, maybe, just maybe, somebody had the idea with their friend. They're like, you know what? We're gonna start this thing. We're gonna, we're gonna start shaking our hands because it's something that we're gonna do to show our friendship. They cannot beard me need a trim. Maybe, hmm. that's an excellent question. Maybe is an interesting word. I thought this series may need to, to happen because occasionally I get asked the question of how on earth I think the thoughts that I do. And who knows, <laughs> who knows. But I thought maybe Maybe I should do a video on what it's like to be in my head, sort of the thoughts that pop into my head. Usually it's something like, can I do this with this thing? And then it winds up being 
absolutely crazy. Uh, peeping off, uh, peeping. People often wonder where I, where I get my patience from, things like that. Let's just say I've had a lot of practice. It kind of leads me to my next question. Honestly, you guys can answer these questions uh, down in the comments below. I was really hoping that the first question was going to last a little longer than it did, but maybe these will just be lots of different little questions. It's like, when it comes to emotions, why, why do people get angry? I mean, I understand why they get angry, but what's, what's the point behind it? You know? What's the point behind getting angry? It's just a wasted amount of energy at nothing. There, there's no point unless you direct it in some way to create some kind of productivity. It's pointless. So why? Why get angry at all? That's the question. I mean, joy kind of makes sense. Happiness, joy, it kind of, kind of makes sense in its own way. Sadness, that one's kind of obvious. But anger. Guilt makes sense, too. But anger. Often when I'm angry, I will go and do something productive. I Actually, I will clean my room, something I like to do. Because I, I don't think about what I'm getting rid of. I just think whether or not I need it. And so, there you go. It's often how I clean my room. Uh, though it doesn't work out all of the time. <laughs> Uh, if you're wondering what it would be like to sit across from me and have a conversation, this is pretty much it. This is about as about as close to a conversation as I can get. I mean, personally, I, I really don't do small talk very well. I Honestly, I don't even do phone calls all that often. But there you go. I've recently been, recently been watching a YouTube channel called Psych2Go, the number two. If you're interested in watching that, uh, they've they've got some really interesting videos, and I think they hit a lot of points that that are important to think about. I think that everybody should know themselves to some degree, to know what they're capable of, what their limits are, things like that. Sort of like a computer. I think that everybody should know how a computer works, but that's that's me. Not everybody does. I could try and explain it to you, but that would require another video. <laughs> uh, you know, the emotions baffle me. They really do. I often wonder why emotions work the way that they do. For instance, why, when you, when you feel something for someone, why, when the... the feeling is created in your brain, do you feel it in your heart? Why do you feel it here and not here? Why? You know? Why is oxygen clear? Or is oxygen clear? Uh, is the earth actually colored or is it colorless and we imagine color? Questions like these need answers. And better to ask than YouTube. <laughs> so please, give me your answers. I don't care if they're wild, outlandish. I don't care. <laughs> Go ahead, put your answers down in the comments below. And for all the people who will write hi down in the comments below who know me, hello. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video all the way to the end to see me to do that. Uh, you know, the some of the questions I have in my head are why why do video game developers build the games that they do you know games ten years ago used to be so different so much better than they are now why did these games these newer games get any traction at all in the market why you know games like destiny if that had been released ten years ago, it never would have hit the shelves. 
because of how many bugs were in it, how many problems they had from the launch, how unbalanced the game was. Never would have hit the shelves ten years ago. Just ten years. It's interesting. Uh, why, why do eyes have the colors that they do? And why are mine not blue? <laughs> that, that's a different topic. Uh, why do beards make people look more friendly? Why do glasses make people look more smart? Why? Just why? That is just an excellent question. Why can plastic be stronger than bone? Why is concrete better with metal in it than without? Of course, that, that one I actually know the answer to. <laughs> Why is the color blue so elusive? You know? Why? I'll just leave you with that. Why are there so many helicopters flying over my house? <laughs> well, that's because I'm in between two, uh, two bases, military bases. That's why. <laughs> why does Nerf create the guns that they do? Why don't we see more sci-fi looking guns in the future, here, now? Uh, why do lace, automatic lace-up shoes cost so much? Why aren't they available on the market now? Well, in multiple you know, not just one type, one brand, but why aren't there more of them? You know, why is there only one style? Why don't we wear our pockets inside out? Well, that one's actually kind of obvious. Uh, it's because it looks really weird. <laughs> you know, why haven't we created time travel yet? That one I can answer, though. But I'm curious what you guys think. Why do people think the way that they do? Why do they think that they can get away with things that they can't? Why don't they sit and think about things and really, really analyze it? Why are people less analytic than I am? You know? Well, you don't know, but... <laughs> why don't people think things out? Why do people think I have OCD? Why do the people think I have a lot of mental diseases when I really only have one that's actually OCD and it's not even that bad? <laughs> it really isn't. I just like things being straight. That's it. I mean, honestly, I don't really care that much. I can ignore it if I want to. For instance, the camera actually isn't level. My shelf up there, that's straight. The camera is actually tilted just a little bit. Uh, that's because of my stand. I've got to re-level it. But, uh, why is the iPhone 4 and 5 so indestructible when the, all the later models aren't? Why did they start making them waterproof? Why, why is Android built the way that it is? Why is it so difficult to use? At least I find it difficult to use. Why do... Why does artificial banana not taste like real banana? Why haven't they fixed this yet? Why is art so appealing? What, what is the motivation behind art? What makes artists art? Like this one here. That's actually not mine. Why would I hang up my own art on my wall? It's just a little weird. Maybe I will. Yeah, I don't know. I wanted a more gray back. Why did I paint my room gray? I'll let you guys figure that one out. <laughs> Why does hair act the way that it does? Why is it so difficult to tame when it's long? Especially when you have curly hair like mine. It might not look curly, but it is. Trust me. Corkscrews sometimes. Why... Why are there so many religions that try and create what what Christianity has, but then go off on a wild bunny trail, wild tangent, go in a different direction with it. Why are there so many offshoots of Christianity? 
you know? Why are there so many different religions and then different, different uh, categories of different religions in general? Why did so many people feel like they had to create their own because what they had wasn't good enough? You know? Why don't people overachieve instead of underachieve? Why don't people work harder for what they what they know they can get rather than going and, and underachieving it? Why do artists, this is one that really, really got me. Why are artists lazy? Why don't they use 100% of what they've got? Why don't they show off in every piece what they can do? You know, their official pieces that they want to actually show people, why? Why don't they? I can understand a practice sketch, okay? Being an artist, I can understand sketches, practices, whatever, right? Or you want to try something, a color combination, whatever. But why don't people try 100% every time? Does, is it just too draining for them? Do they not have the patience for it? I don't know. Where does patience come from? How do you gain more of it? How do people have less of it? Anyway, I think I better stop here before things get too crazy. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you are interested in seeing more stuff like this, please let me know, either via the comments, the like or dislike button, or the subscribe button. You can hit any of those lovely buttons. <laughs> uh, I also have a Patreon if you're interested in supporting me monetarily. Um, I'm not pushing you to do so, it's just there if you want to. And the links to where you can find me, talk to me, whatever, are all down in the description below. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Stay awesome.